I knew it from the get-go it was going to get an enormous amount of criticism. That was in the car, no question about it, and it did. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't have planned it any better. Um, people wanted to see, well, what is this that, that I'm not allowed to see? At least our audience felt that way. I did wish, in retrospect, of course, like many others, that they would have advertised it at Halloween rather than Christmas, because then it would have fallen into, oh, it's just a Halloween horror film, perhaps. I know it was Santa, so that would have got some backlash, but to, to advertise the film coming out in all theaters around Christmas time, you know, maybe in retrospect they would have done that a little different. I understand the controversy from a mother's point of view, from a parent's point of view. They showed ads for the movie like a week before, 10 days before it opened, on Sunday afternoon when the whole family in the Midwest is around watching the Green Bay Packer football game. Mom, Dad, little Johnny, little Amy, you know, they're all watching the game. And there's the, there's the trailer, you know, in, in, a, in, a, in a commercial for Silent Night, Deadly Night. You know, with the, with the narrator, he knows when you've been naughty. You see Santa's hands grab for an ax on the wall. As soon as it hit the theaters, um, you know, the controversy began, you know, TriStar bought commercial time during Saturday afternoon football games. You know, parents already had it with Friday the 13th, 1-2, whatever, Halloween, My Bloody Valentine, all the graduation day. And now, oh my God, it's nothing sacred. Now they're taking Santa and turning him into a killer. Today, people would just go, you know, that's nothing.